Okay, folks, uh, been a bit longer than anticipated, but uh, all eight cells are now showing uh, full. So what I'm going to do is initiate the test. So we start over here first. Hold this button down for two seconds till the uh, command start flashing. Press it again. That goes to the discharge program. Press it again, and it goes to the discharge refresh program. So what this does is puts a 0.5 milliamp load, sorry, 0.5 amp load on the cells to drain the cells and then puts a 0.5 amp charge through the cells. It does that three times and then terminates and it shows you the, uh, the capacity in milliamp hours for each cell. So same again on this one. Discharge refresh cycle. Off it goes. So you can that's the discharge voltage. Uh, sorry, the discharge current. That's the actual voltage real time. And the uh, current consumed in milliamp hours. Time taken. Okay. So this is probably going to take at least 24 hours to cycle through. So uh, time for a beer, I think. Okay, this charge cycle is now done. Check these first. Okay, a bit lower than the uh, the last batch. Eighteen hundred two at eighteen hundred two at two thousand. And nineteen hundred and eighteen hundred into two thousands right just need to record this in the tablet and then we can do the uh, internal resistance test right just reminded myself that the tablet is on charge so that's the good old method Okay, so these appear to be a bit older. Okay, that's them done. So that is a complete charging cycle using, or well, test cycle, sorry, using the Opus chargers. Hope you've enjoyed this. Um, it's not everybody's cup of tea, but obviously uh, it might be uh, of interest to somebody that's, that wants to start building their own batteries. Okay, cheers, see you later. Right then folks, this is me uh, 
my new 3S3P lithium ion battery um, using the Vruzend version 1 end caps, I believe. Uh, so you can see the That's one of those uh, Banggood uh, battery management boards. Allegedly does uh, under volts protection, over volts protection, and cell balance. It's currently reading about uh, twelve point three volts, and I just need to go and put it on charge now to uh, activate the the BMS. So uh, yeah, uh, if my testing is anything to go by, it should give me about six amps capacity, which uh, which ain't bad. Okay, just thought I'd share that with you. Cheers.